Now you are ready for the ripple edit tool. Let me use my multiple undos, undo, 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 to get back to where all those pieces of video were originally. And you have a toolbar somewhere. Mine's right here. Yours could be at the top. So far, we've just been using the selection tool, but there's a bunch of editing tools in Adobe Premiere Pro. And the next one I'm going to talk about is the ripple edit tool. Ripple edit, go ahead and click on that. It's similar to the selection tool. I can click and drag to change the endpoint of a clip, but what it does is it snaps all the rest of the clips back to fill the gap. So whereas before with the selection tool, when I trimmed an in or an out point, it left a gap. Now with the ripple edit tool, it automatically snaps to fill that gap. Let me show you another one, rolling edit tool. The rolling edit tool, if I click on the midpoint between two clips and drag, it changes the endpoints and outpoints of both clips simultaneously. So watch this closely. If I mouse over a place where two clips interact or cut from one to the other and I drag, I just made this clip shorter and made this clip longer at the exact same time. I added video to before where the endpoint was on this and I removed video from after where the outpoint was on that one to change this moment in time where the two clips uh, can uh, switch from one to the other. Now, once you start using all these different tools, you've got to be able to switch back and forth between them. Don't forget to go back to the regular selection tool when you need to do something like click a clip in order to grab it and move it around because only the selection tool can do that. Your basic tool is selection and feel free to experiment with these other tools and see what they do. I'm not going to teach them in the video 1A class. We'll get to them more in the uh, more advanced video production classes.